Hey! Let it bash! It's the 29th of June in 2018. And Route 66, <laughs> it's on the menu. It just, it's all over my, my screen here. It's like, it's supposed to be seen. That's all I can tell you. And I was all on this. I was led to this a year ago and did videos, the whole thing on it, and it just went away. But it's come back into my view. Okay? So I'm seeing this stuff everywhere. Route 66, the mother road. Okay? There's so many things we could talk about about this. It's, it's really quite remarkable. But I came across this. Did you know? because I didn't, <laughs> that there's a piece of Route 66, literally, in Washington, D.C. There sure is, and it's right on the corner of 14th Street and Constitution Ave. All right? So, uh, naturally, I have to go there, right? And you won't believe where this is. It's pretty amazing, but here we go, right? Let me take you to the Washington Monument here. All right? And you remember this line. I should mention that. This line was from a couple videos ago showing the lineup of all the obelisks and everything on the East Coast. 396 miles long. So, I'm looking for 14th Street and, uh, what was it? Constitution Ave, right? So, I'm about to punch it into the uh, address thing here. And I'm zoomed in here, and I start just poking around these, and I notice that's Constitution Ave. And what's this building right here? It's 14th Street and Constitution Ave. That's where Route 66 is. Dissected perfectly by our obelisk line, our 396 obelisk line. That's just weird. What's even weirder is this road that comes in and leads you to that. Let me turn on the roads. Get a load of this. It's Route 66 that comes in right there and brings you right up to the little chunk of road, Route 66. You just, you just can't, even in a million years, like guess this or make it up or anything. This is just crazy. This is Satan's influence on the flesh over the millennia. Leading men through lust, through temptation, to build his monuments, to build his cities. The masons and the master builders, right? I mean, it's all right here. This whole world is just laid out for Lucifer, for his vanity, okay? So, Route 66. Now, this is absolutely crazy beyond understanding what I'm going to show you. <laughs> Okay, this is how my mind works. I can't help it. Deal with it, right? And so I was doing other stuff looking on Route 66 and I came across this. Everybody must be you know, familiar with this. The Gateway Arch, St. Louis, Missouri. Route 66 runs right through St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so keep that in mind because this is off the hook, right? I take a line like I do. And I make a line to the St. Louis Gateway Arch. Look how it almost lines up perfectly there. But I digress. So we go to the St. Louis Gateway Arch. Right? There's that line right there. And that line is 709 miles long, by the way. 709 right to the Gateway Arch. Route 66 literally runs... There's a sign that I saw right there that I want to show you. Route 66 literally bypasses around, and, it, and the old route came right through St. Louis. So, I mean, it's right there. And this sign is what led me to all of this like a year ago. Will Divide, Bel Air, 639. This was given to me, okay, by the Holy Spirit itself. And then the sign is actually still here in good old Google Earth. You know, don't be evil. Check this out. This is Route 66 right here, by the way. That is old Route 66 right there. And let's, let's just look because this is interesting. It's just I can't get over this stuff, you know. God is so amazing showing us all Lucifer's little vanities. 
There's the sign. Oh, look at it. Lost an R. Now it's Bell AI. <laughs> That's fitting, right? So, yeah, and there's the line right there. Bell AI. That sign is still there, if you can believe it. Okay? Let's get out of this here. Right on Route 66. That thing's like, you know, I don't know how many years old. But check this out, right? So we're at the Gateway Arch. And from that sign, I might as well show you that because it is pretty interesting. Let me find that again right here. This is this the sign line right there. Okay? And here's the properties of that line right here. 11.3 miles. And that's exact. 311. Again. Okay? So that's almost like a side note because what goes from here is off the hook crazy. Of course, I'm going to go to the end of the line, right? I got to go to the end of the trail now from the arch. And you would not believe this. You just won't believe this stuff. This line, for one, is about one to two degrees off on angle right here. Can't really see it, but it's there. And, uh, you know, you can just attribute that to the curvature of the earth, you know, because everybody can see the curvature, right? And it right out to our dead sheep at the end of the trail, okay? And whether this is an actual mountain range or a Google Don't Be Evil addition, that is a dead sheep, whether you like it or not. And it is significant because it signifies the end of the trail. That's what it signifies. And if you look at the totality of that line all the way from the Washington Monument to this dead sheep 2320 that's the distance 322 2320 you know I can't sit here and make this stuff up because anybody can just go to Google Earth and look at it for themselves so I'm just showing it to you because that's what I'm called to do it's just what I do can't help it Look at that, huh? Right through that arch. Right through it. That is absolutely crazy. That's crazy. See that shot of the west with the sun setting there? Watch, it'll bring it up again. Crazy, huh? Look at that right there. But anyway, I had to show it to you. This, this is not, you know, like some fairy tale. You know, talk to Google Earth. <laughs> Satan's Etch-A-Sketch. His monuments. He loves to just place his little pushpin monuments everywhere. And you know what this is going to end up? This is spelling out. And I'll just tell you what this is spelling out. The divide. It will divide. Bel Air. And that's what this is telling me. That that separation. The sheep, the goats, the wheats, the tares... The country itself is divided, and it's going to fall. That is what I get, and I do not know when or how, but it's going to happen. And there's more ties to this that I'll get into later, but I had to share this. It's just the way it is. This is crazy, <laughs> but there it is, guys. Jesus is truth. You seek him, you walk in him. He will show you the truth. End of discussion. There is no lie in him. Okay? So, there you go, guys. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 